Record pigs per litter starting to sound like a broken record. The USDA September hogs and pigs report holds few, if any, surprises. As expected, the September 1st inventory of all hogs and pigs at 76.5 million head is up 1.69% from last quarter and almost a half a percent from a year ago, while the breeding herd is up almost a half a percent from last quarter but down 2.2% from last year, and market hogs are one and three quarters percent higher than last quarter and a bit higher than last year. Inventories of the lightest two classes of market hogs are down 1.5% and 1.3% relative to a year ago, while that of the two heavier classes are 3.5% and 4.8% higher. The abundance of heavier animals should put downward pressure on near-term prices. However, overall, there's just slightly fewer hogs weighing under 180 pounds than a year ago, which will be the market hogs arriving at processing plants from October 2024 through February 2025. The decrease in lighter weight class hogs partly reflects that the June through August pig crop is, as expected, three quarters of percent smaller than last year, with about 1.7 percent fewer sows farrowed, again mostly offset by another record 11.72 pigs saved per litter, or 1 percent more than were saved in the same period last year. The marginally smaller pig crop should lead to similarly smaller slaughter this winter. Despite the smaller breeding herd, farrowing intentions for the fall and winter are each nearly identical to the prior year, with fall intentions modestly higher than the range of pre-report expectations, but still close to the average expectation of 0.6% lower. If reported farrowing intentions are realized and trends in pigs per litter persist, then spring and summer slaughter potentially could be higher than a year ago. The USDA's cold storage report indicates lower stocks of meat than a year ago. Cold stocks of pork on August 31st are up slightly from the previous month, but down 3% from a year ago. Beef stocks are down 2% from the prior month and down slightly from last year, while poultry stocks are up slightly from the prior month, but down 5% from a year ago. Pork demand appears to be strengthening both domestically and abroad. The USDA revised forecasts of U.S. per capita pork consumption upward to 50.9 pounds per person in 2024 and 51.2 pounds per person in 2025. The U.S. exported 567 million pounds of pork in July, or 12% more than the prior July. Despite rapid appreciation of the peso, Mexico accounted for about 42% of July shipments, almost three times that of the second largest buyer, Japan, which only accounted for 15%, while Canada, China, and Hong Kong, and Korea each represented about 7% of July shipments. With the strong July, the USDA raised estimates for third and fourth quarter U.S. pork exports to 1.7 and 1.9 billion pounds, which are respectively 10% and 5% above a year ago, raising annual exports by 5% over last year. Annual pork exports are forecast to rise 2.5% to 7.4 billion pounds in 2025. Still, taking everything into account, prices seem unlikely to surpass last year's levels. The forecast presented here is for the national weighted average net price on a carcass basis for all transactions for producer sold barrels and gilts, including negotiated and contract prices. This net price should be more reflective of what producers receive on average, and often averages a premium of more than $2 a hundred weight over the base price, uh, and for the period from July through September, averaged $88.81 a hundredweight compared to $84.26 a hundredweight for the corresponding net prices for negotiated or spot transactions. In general, hog prices tend to be higher in the second and third quarters, with lower prices in the first and fourth quarters. Consistent with that pattern, prices are forecast to drop to an average of $77.82 a hundredweight for the fourth quarter of 2024. For 2025, prices are forecast to average $77.23 a hundredweight in the first quarter and then rise seasonally to $86.68 a hundredweight and $89.78 a hundredweight in the second and third quarters, respectively. However, with similar farrowing intentions as a year ago, if growth in pigs per litter continues, then lower prices may be realized, especially if the current relatively strong levels of domestic and export demand soften. For the University of Illinois, and the University of Missouri, I'm Jason Franken.